Hey there, it's Amy from thecrazycraftlady.com. Welcome back to week eight in my 25 crafts to Christmas countdown. Today we're making a dollar store craft using a pizza pan. First things first, you're gonna wanna grab some white chalk paint. This is just regular Rust-Oleum white chalk paint. It comes like in a quart container, but I transferred it to a different jar. Um, but you can use really any chalky finish paint that you like. I like the chalky paint because it um, adheres really well to the metal pizza pans um, and it dries fast and it has a really nice matte finish to it. So just give like a really good solid coat. I only did one coat and cover the entire back of the pizza pan. And then Dollar Tree had these little wall decals. They look like little houses, but I was inspired to make a little winter Christmas village out of them. So you're going to leave them on the backing because they are adhesive, like they've got an adhesive on the back. So just leave them on the paper backing and paint them white and then set everything aside to dry. Next, I used some navy blue chalk paint to create a night sky. So I just kind of uh, made like a like a swerve, I guess, a swervy line to mimic like a snow hill that eventually my little Christmas village will go on. And then I just grabbed some brown and tan acrylic paint to use whatever you got. Um, and I kind of made a mixture of the two to make a weathered look on my little houses. So dab a little dark brown and then uh, kind of use like a dry brush technique so you don't want to have um, a ton of paint on the brush. So maybe dip the brush in the paint and then dab it off on the paper before you paint the houses. So just back and forth in the same direction, so up and down on each of the houses and just kind of create a little weathered wooden effect. Now it's time to assemble everything. So I just um, typed up the words all is calm on um, my computer and printed it off on just regular computer paper. And then I trimmed it down and then kind of set it in place to kind of figure out where do I want my words and where do I want my uh, houses. And then just peel the houses off that adhesive backing, paper backing. I know there's an adhesive on the houses, but I also reinforced it with a little bit of hot glue because I just wasn't sure how strong that adhesive or how long it would last. And then there is also like a clear adhesive backing in the window. So you're going to want to like kind of poke that out before you glue down your houses. So I used four of the little houses to make this cute little village. And then I used some of my carbon transfer paper to trace over my printed letters so that I had an outline that I could paint over. And then I just used some regular white paint and a fine tip paintbrush to fill in my little carbon pencil outline to paint the words all is calm. Then I kind of went in and freehanded some stars. So I made some little like cross stars as well as just used like a fine tip paintbrush to just do some dots. So it looked like little stars in the night sky. Then to finish this off and hang this, I grabbed some jute rope from Dollar Tree and I hot glued it all the way around the pizza pan, all the way around that rim. Make sure that the ends of your rope are at the very top of the pizza pan. That way you can cover it with a bow. Then it's time to make um, your bow and use whatever you want. But I had this navy blue and white check ribbon. I think it was from Michaels. So I cut two pieces of that and then two pieces of a more natural fiber tan ribbon, stacked them together and tied them together with a skinny piece of ribbon. Make sure you cut all your ends at a 45 degree angle and then kind of fluff everything out. I always like to cut my ribbons a little bit longer then I think I'll need them because then I can always just trim them after the fact to get the exact length that I want. Um, you can always trim more off, but you can't add more on. And then finally, I just hot glued a length of rope, a little loop of it, so that I had a hanger for my pizza pan and then covered that uh, up with the bow. So I just hot glued the loop of rope in place and then I just hot glued my bow right on top of it. But there we have a cute little winter pizza pan door hanger. Um, I love this craft because you can hang it up for Christmas and then leave it up all winter long. I love winter type crafts that serve all through the Christmas and the winter season because then you get to enjoy them for longer. 
So stay tuned next week for week nine in my 25 crafts to Christmas countdown. Until next time, happy making.